Both exponential growth and exponential decay can be modeled with differential equations. Let's take a look how. Recall that an exponential function is of the form y equals c e to the kx. If you take the derivative with respect to x, you get c e to the kx times k, just from the chain rule. And of course, this is just y. So dy dx equals k times y. And that means that our original exponential function satisfies the differential equation dx, dy dx equals k times y. This is a very important differential equation. And so we say the general solution of this important differential equation, dy dx equals ky, is y equals c e to the kx, the exponential functions. Same value of k. c would be some other constant. Any constant will do. Now, just to review, when k is greater than 0, we get exponential growth. And when k is less than 0, we get exponential decay. Um, and that goes for both of these equations. And here's an example. dy dx equals 0.1y. Here, k is positive, so we get exponential growth. According to this formula, the general solution is going to be y equals c e to the k, and k is 0.1 x. So the whole family of functions, y equals c e to the 0.1 x, will be solutions of this differential equation. And those are exponential growth functions. And depending on the c value, you could get you know, a steeper one or a lower one. C could be negative, and so you could get one down here. <clears throat> but these are all different functions for different values of c. Um, sometimes this k value is called the continuous growth rate. In, in that case, it would be given as a percent. So the continuous growth rate here would be 10%. Now the important thing to know is that these exponential functions are solutions to this very important differential equation, dy dx equals ky. And we'll see uh, applications of this in upcoming examples.